Dr. Tony Kiss Series, Deodorants and Antiperspirants. Joe, this one's for you. Kiss Series, here we go, we're gonna keep it simple. Deodorant, most people wear deodorant. A lot of people wear antiperspirant. I used to wear antiperspirant a long time ago. And when I was younger, probably in my teen years, a cousin of mine who was a radiation therapist told me about these individuals that would come in using antiperspirant and they would have cancer in their axillary glands and their armpits and their sweat glands. So they would have a rod connected to their side to their arm that have to walk around like this because they're getting radiation treatments underneath the arm. When I heard that, I thought, I am not using antiperspirants anymore. So I would use deodorants and I would put it on, 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 put it on. Well, as a result, what I would do is when I would sweat, I would smell the deodorant and my BO. I thought, this is a bad combination here. The reason why antiperspirants are bad is because they stop you from perspiring. They stop you from sweating. Now, that may sound like a good thing at first, but the problem is our body wasn't designed to keep in that waste material inside our arm. That is actually waste material that comes out of those glands, those sweat glands. Your body gets rid of poisons and toxins through those sweat glands. So when we put an antiperspirant on, we essentially block that from our body getting rid of those poisons and toxins. That can lead to a lot of problems in the body. One, of course, in, in particular what I was talking about earlier is cancer. Now, can I sit there and say antiperspirants cause cancer? Nope, I can't say that, but I could say there's a strong correlation. And the evidence shows that there is a relationship between clogging the glands and having malfunction in the body. In this case, of course, either infection, swollen glands, etc., or even cancer you're blocking the body's natural process to get rid of the poisons and the toxins. Deodorants work by simply putting on a substance that doesn't necessarily block the gland, but what it does is it masks the odor. So you're still able to sweat. Deodorants are a better choice. However, even in deodorants, you have a problem. You have fragrances that aren't good. You have colors and dyes that aren't good for your body. And you even have some heavy metals like aluminum trying to block some of the glands, trying to alter some of the smells. This is bad stuff to use. I recommend a salt stick. It has nothing but salt in it. When you rub it on, you're putting it on, you're talking about 20, 30 strikes maybe. After you wet it, you wet the stone itself. There's a number of different brands out there. Make sure it's just a salt stick. It's all it is. What that does is when the odor comes out, when the bacteria builds up in the arm, creating that smell, that odor, the salt will kill those bugs. And so you'll still be able to sweat, but you won't have the odor. Your best choice is a salt stick or no deodorant if you get away with it. All right, so deodorants, antiperspirants, Dr. Tony, KISS Series.